all the faiths of the world uh, have at their central core this belief that we owe things to other people and that doing for others and kindness to others uh, is a part of any faith. I say to young people, it isn't where you start, it's where you finish. And the reason that I was able to be a success is that even though I was having difficulty at the beginning, my parents, my preacher, my school teachers, my aunts, my uncles, they wouldn't let me drop, they wouldn't let me fail. You never imagine going home and saying, you know, I don't think I want to go to college. What? I think I might want to drop out of high school. They drop you out. These immigrant people came to this country with, with a set of expectations and, for their children. And they put those expectations in our heart. And they also taught us to have a sense of shame. And don't shame the family. Don't you ever shame the family. We've lost a lot of that now. And in my work with young people, and what I'm doing with America's Promise that my wife chairs, is try to put that sense of expectation back into the hearts of our young kids and to recreate a sense of shame that is frankly a little on the soft side these days in American public life. But we've got to bring it back or else we're in trouble. And so there were role models in my own community. And what I say to young people is don't look, don't emulate. You can't emulate Colin Powell. You're not Colin Powell. Emulate yourself. Be your own role model. Have your own expectations. What do you believe in? Just keep plugging away. You may not know where you're going yet, but just keep fighting. Don't give up. Never quit. And keep going on. Look at my life, and if you find something in there useful, fine. Uh, but by all means, be your own role model. I'm often asked, what's the greatest thing you've learned? What's your greatest success? What's your, what's your biggest failure? And I believe that every one of us is, is a product not of any one or two things. We're a product of every experience we've had, every emotion that's ever passed through us, every relationship we've ever had with anyone else. Um, the failures and the successes all blend into making you what you are. And so uh, I have been blessed uh, with, uh, with promotions and, and opportunities to serve. And I've also botched things in my life. And I'm a product of all of that. And I always find it unwieldy to single out one or two of anything uh, without dismissing the importance of a third or a fourth thing. So I try to slip away from those questions as well as I've just done. <laughs> There's one expression I use a lot, one quotation, and it isn't from any famous author, it isn't from any famous, famous celebrity, it's from a, a minister. In, I, was a, I was a senior warden of a church in Virginia many years ago, and the diocese asked us to take in this older minister who was having some kind of difficulty in his life. I don't know what it was, depression, alcoholism, we never knew. And the diocese, the bishop asked us, please take him for a year and, and just see what you can do for him. And so he came to the church and we embraced him and we tried to show him all of the virtues that you cited earlier, that, that, sister, that Mother Teresa mentioned to you. And um, he seemed to be much better at the end of the year. And in his final sermon, and this is almost 40 years ago and I've never forgotten it, he stood up before the congregation and started to speak. And then he said something that I realized afterwards was autobiographical. He said, always show people more kindness than you think is necessary because they need it more than you will ever know. <laughs>